This is my third harvest in five days. Let's find out just how much all that weighs. So, beans. one pound, seven ounces of beans. Yum, yum. So, all together in the last five pounds, five pounds, last five days, I've gotten a total of four pounds, three ounces of beans. I'm really happy. Four pounds of beans off my bean bushes out there. I couldn't be happier. Even when I thought I picked them all, I ended up missing some. And it just flew off. Very small bean harvest today. However, there's, you know, half a pound here. However, there is probably about 50 to 75, maybe even as much as 100 of those little itty bitty teeny tiny beans. They're too small to harvest. Plus, about that many flowers. So I'm guessing I should get maybe another two or three pounds worth of beans off my plants this year. Oh yeah, that makes me happy. And then, peppers one tomato so far and I grew this tomato myself from seed I'm so happy I'm so excited I'm gonna be slicing these peppers up and freezing them and letting the rest of these peppers yes these are starting to blush but I had to get them off of the plants so that the plants had the energy to put into the new flowers that are coming so I can hopefully get another round and then one spicy pepper so far. I've harvested a bunch of these little spicy guys. But I haven't filmed any of them. But yeah. Nice pepper haul. A tomato. My husband has eaten probably 20 cherries. Maybe 30 so far this year. At this time last year. I had already harvested a bushel of tomatoes. So my plants. Everybody's having a weird summer this year what they're growing but i'll take what i can get peppers tomato beans i'm happy I wanted to show you guys what a half a pound of basil looks like. That giant bowl is basil. That's half a pound of basil. So basil doesn't weigh much, but it's a lot of basil. And I still have half my basil outside to harvest. So I'm going to keep harvesting. Just did my fourth parsley harvest of the year. And got almost a pound of parsley. I'm excited. I just had to share this, you guys. It's potato gravy I made. Great grandma style. Or as she would call it, S-O-S. -S, stuff on a shingle. All I did was take all kinds of leftovers out of my fridge. We have leftover hot dogs from when my husband and son went camping. There's leftover barbecue ribs, um, leftover veggies, um, more leftover veggies. And I just took all of it, put it in a pan, um, cooked it up and fried it up and added all the different sauces because there was barbecue sauce from the barbecue ribs and then added a little more barbecue sauce and turned it into a gravy. 
My great grandma would be proud. We have a neighbor down the street from us who stopped me the other day <laughs> to say, Hey, coming to get apples this year? They're falling everywhere. So we got free apples. Four crates. I'm guessing probably close to 100 pounds. Oh yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, so my son asked for juice out of the apples. I was going to actually dehydrate most of them. Um, except for the cores, I was going to turn the cores into pectin. But my son specifically asked for apple juice because mommy's apple juice is the best mommy. So couldn't say no to that. So I'm going to turn this one basket. It's about 15, maybe 20 pounds of apples into juice. So I'm getting started on that, you guys. I'll bring you here, back here and there for clips. I don't need to show you the step-by-step -step process as I already have videos on step-by-step -step process of how I turn apples into five different products. So, look for that on my channel. It's called 15 Pounds of Apples Playlist. And there we go. So, I'll bring you back and we'll be back. One 16-quart pot down. I've got several more to go. Um, I took the time because I was bored and I was curious and I wanted to know. All together, you guys, I had 97 pounds of apples. 97 pounds. It took me three and a half hours on my little kitchen scale to weigh them. But 97 pounds of apples. So. This is my first pot. I'm going to, it's done boiling and all that fun stuff. I'm going to start straining it and getting to work on the next stuff. There is so many apples to do. This is only like 12 pounds of apples. So 85 more pounds to go. So this is going to be a long vlog of just apples. I also got some recipes from a friend. I'm really looking forward to trying one of them. One of them's called Mexican Apple Butter. It's made with jalapenos and cumin. I'm actually really looking forward to that one. I can't wait to see how that one turns out. So, anyways, I'm going to let this pot cool for a little bit before I start straining it while I'm slicing more apples. And we'll be back with more apple vlog. There we go. I got 15 quarts of juice out of all those, out of that one basket of apples I cut up. Now you got to take into mind that A, large quantities of the water boils out while you're boiling it down. And B, it may look like a 16 quart stock pot, but a good half of it is actually the apples you're putting into it so between the two pots of apples and water that I boiled I got 15 quarts so I'm gonna put lids on it I'm gonna can it and I've got applesauce and like I said this is a vlog so when I'm all done with everything I'll bring you back and show you everything I got out of that one basket of apples. It's so fuzzy. Is it going to focus? There we go, you guys. All right. One of the things I'm doing is I'm getting ready to do that garlic herb thing of mine. In the bottom, I got a bunch of my homegrown chives way, way down there. And I got a layer of my different assorted basils. Um, and then I've got parsley in here. And then I've got thyme and rosemary. I bought those at the store. I'm going to pour my garlic on top of it, my oil on top of it, and bake it. And then I'm going to make that garlic herb of mine. I'll show you more of it later. Alright, so in here I have all my herbs and my garlic and my oil. I have thyme and rosemary that I bought in the store. Organic thyme and rosemary. 
Then from my own garden, I have chives, parsley, and basil. There's like four different kinds of basil. Holy basil, sweet basil, mammoth basil, and lemon basil. And then parsley and chives. I think I might have already said those. And then I have organic dried oregano from the local organic store. And then all the oil together and then all that, that big package of garlic that I bought. And then after it all cooks down and all cooks together, I will separate it into herbs and oil and garlic and oil. So, yeah. Alright, my water's boiling. More vlog on the way.